Hey guys, well, this is uh, unconventional for me to do, uh, but since we're living in the movie Outbreak, I thought I'd share a couple opinions and suggestions, things we're doing to just be preventative and mindful during this uh, global pandemic. Uh, for starters, alcohol, backup alcohol bottles. Uh, take this with me to the grocery store. I wear gloves. Good to be mindful and preventative, especially if you have elderly people, autoimmune stuff underlying health conditions. We don't want to get it. You don't want to get it. Let's lay low and uh, let this thing pass as best we can so we're not spreading it. These are also good. N95 masks. You pinch this around the nose. These things, again, these will be your friend. If you're able to trace one down or you have a friend, uh, post on Facebook, see if you can get an N95 mask. It significantly increases uh, chances of not catching as many germs. Lemons. Lemons are your friend. Uh, detoxifying. They're great for immunity. Same thing with limes. All citrus fruits are just are great. Excellent. Colloidal silver. Very good. I've heard of uh, stories of people putting it in their ears and turning blue though, so go by the directions on the box. Please don't go uh, turning into a smurf. Also, these things. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is, is great. I mean, this company just puts they put garlic and kale and carrot root and just all these super healthy, uh, boost the immune system, detoxifying ingredients. Kailoa garlic, for those of you who don't like garlic, this has, this is odorless. This is great. And of course, oil of oregano, you guys, to help keep our immune system up. These are just very helpful in times like this. You know, stay low, be mindful with when you go to the grocery store. Uh, recently, Target's been opening at 8 a.m., like Costco. You gotta you keep check, checking back because it's uh, information varies from day to day. Get in there, get your toilet paper. I know that's like become, they're gonna make movies about toilet paper after this thing. Get in there at 8 a.m. or whatever time they first open and get out. Be mindful of what you buy. You don't need to buy ice cream and tiramisu in a freaking global crisis. Reusable bottles. Reusable bottles are great. Get a couple of these and then you can back them up with the three gallon ones, which are awesome, and the RO water. Get reusable bags. I think reusable bags are awesome. Clean them, spray them with alcohol. If they're plastic, they don't wash well, so don't be mindful about how you wash them, but you can spray them. Use your little spray bottle. That's what's gonna help the planet is mindful behavior and, and also our environment because the planet will thrive and survive whether we're here or not. So yeah, good good conscious behavior. How, what can I do to reuse things more so that I'm not promoting less conscious behavior, I'm actually promoting more conscious behavior for others to see and influence their minds so we're, uh, positive change happens and spreads and grows like a chain reaction. If positive changes don't come out of this, pandemic, then we're, we're screwed. <laughs> like, seriously, we need to wake up. This is a wake up call. To, I see this as a reset. And, and speaking more spiritually, I personally believe we're going to get to the point where if those who do not behave for the life process, the greater good, of what's best for our environment, each other, um, having a more plant-based diet, I'm not telling you to what you should do. Ultimately, going beyond this, survival, supplies, you know, mindful behavior, uh, in the general terms, you know, we will reach a point where um, vibrationally raising planet, which is reflective of the Schumann resonance, will not correlate with a lower vibration. So those that uh, are self-destructive and insensitive, I just, I see this almost spiritually, like the underlying is, is a reset because we're all in this together. We're all, you know, going to get through this together. It's unfortunate and scary that uh, this is, it's a serious concern of what's with what's going on. And we can, you know, by being good examples to others, staying home, laying low, letting this the, the, the peak taper off, because that's how things work as a graph. When the behavior collectively becomes more mindful, the graph, you know, tapers off relative to the amount of cases and starts to decline. Just stay home, play a board game, read a good book, meditate, do yoga, connect with your family members, call a friend. What's meaningful? What matters? What's appreciative? This I can't help but feel that this event is allowing, it's an opportunity for us to tune out and tune in to what's whole, what's good, what's conscious, and take advantage of it. Exercise in the sun in your backyard. If you don't have a backyard, you know, if you're allowed to take a bike ride with what's going on right now, 
don't get so consumed in the conspiracy theories because speculation is often wrong. I'm not denying those that are saying, well, this could be this and this could be part of something bigger and da 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 Are we gonna focus on the positive or are we gonna focus on the negative and just stress ourselves out more, which decreases our immunity, which actually increases our chance of getting this. We can only control ourselves. So uh, let's be our greatest version by by taking steps to becoming our greatest version and um, and that uh, that really comes from within